And sources tell Politico Majority Leader Steve Scalise of Louisiana is reaching out to GOP members, gauging whether they would support his bid for speaker. Scalise and fellow Louisiana Congressman Garrett Graves took the House floor earlier today in a last-ditch effort to keep McCarthy from being voted out, while Democratic Louisiana Congressman Troy Carter voted in favor of removing McCarthy. Ashlyn Brothers reports. We've never seen this before in the history of America. All Louisiana Republicans came to Kevin McCarthy's defense, and in a failed attempt, McCarthy's now stripped of his coveted title as House Speaker. Majority Leader Steve Scalise spoke highly of McCarthy's successes just before the vote. One thing Speaker McCarthy embraced from day one is to start making those kind of changes to this institution, opening up the process, allowing members to be more engaged, having amendments come to the floor, single subject bills, doing appropriations bills. Scalise says they've gained some momentum and now's not the time to slow the progress down. This House passed funding for over 70 percent of the federal government's operation and it's sitting over in the senate where they've passed zero and we're going to beat up each other and talk about our internal processes. Fox 8 political analyst Mike Sherman says Steve Scalise is being considered as a possible candidate for speaker. For a Republican who is conservative, Steve Scalise has chaired the powerful Republican study committee. He's been in leadership. He was a loyal supporter of Donald Trump. He's certainly a viable candidate to be Speaker of the House for conservatives. Representative Garrett Graves praised McCarthy on the House floor for his accomplishments and described him as the best Speaker of the House in history. Graves accused Matt Gates of using this entire vote as a means to help raise money to get reelected as a Florida congressman. He also pointed to the reelection text he says he received regarding Gates. Oh look, give me money. I filed the motion to vacate using official actions, official actions to raise money. It's disgusting. It's what's disgusting about Washington. On this vote, the yeas are 216, the nays are 210. Sherman says the Republican Party needs to get on the same page. The triggering event was a temporary bill to fund government, but really, it was this nine-month prolonged battle between different factions of the Republican Party. He says there's two ways to become a speaker. Come up with a bipartisan coalition right now, which includes Democrats. That's highly unlikely right now. Or find a way to appease to the, that minority group of Republicans who led to the ouster of Kevin McCarthy and see if you can put together a new coalition of Republicans. A spokesperson for Representative Troy Carter says he's been tied up in meetings all day and he was unable to speak to us today. However, in a statement, Carter described McCarthy's time as a speaker as, quote, dysfunctional since day one and the House Republican civil war at best distasteful and at worst defective. He went on to say he will always put progress over partisanship.